Hi guys, this is a little bit different video for my next kit that I'm going to work on. Um, and some of you may not be interested in following along, that's fine if you're not. Um, I think most people will because it's kind of a fun thing. Uh, one of the many things I do besides building models is I like to play music. I love, love music, love to play music. And for years, I've wanted to move to the next step of that and kind of see where I could go. Well, I've decided to get, throw my hat in the ring and try building guitars. And um, for the first one, I decided to pick up a kit. Uh, this kit is from Solo Guitars out of Canada. And it's a fairly straightforward kit. A lot of the heavy lifting is already done. Uh, I didn't want to get in over my head the first time around to see if I really liked it or how it went before. Uh, before I jumped in with both feet and started buying a lot of expensive equipment or decided if I was going to try and make this my my profession going forward uh, I have in the past worked in the music stores and done basic maintenance on them uh, on guitars and other instruments uh, I would nowhere consider myself a luthier by any stretch of the imagination um, I have done some woodworking in the past, uh, but again, not, not a ton. So, with that being said, let's look at some of the, at, at the, uh, the solo guitar kit. To start off, I'm going to start with the, with the neck here. This is the one beautiful piece. Uh, I honestly don't think I could do a whole lot better on my own um, as far as the neck goes uh, it's a toasted maple neck I don't know if the color will show up on on the film as well as it does in person but it's beautiful I've done a little bit of light sanding on it got it ready we're gonna probably just gonna do a an oil finish on on this because it's too too pretty to do anything else with uh, on that, it's, it's got the shark tooth inlay on the front. We will do something to match the paint for the headstock. Again, also that's a very, very beautiful. This thing is as straight as an arrow. I put my uh, gauge on there and it's just completely straight. Um, check the frets, they all appear to be level. I did take off the plastic nut that comes on the kit. And I'll be putting a, a titanium one in its place. I've got that. And I'm right now I'm working on trimming it down for a perfect fit on there. So that's my neck. And this is ta -da, the body. We are doing the Randy Rhodes style flying V with the twin humbuckers a hard hardtail bridge with the string through on it and this is just one beautiful again I don't know if the if it's coming out as well and, and on camera as it should just one beautiful piece of mahogany it's actually three pieces but glued together but just one beautiful piece uh, we've done a little bit of sanding on this so far we've just about got ready about got it ready to do a sealer coat on it and once the sealer coat is done we will be ready to do a finish I'm going to try and do a clear a clear mahogany stain on this one uh, I don't want it to be as red as like you would see on the Gibson 
like the SGs and the original Vs in the mahogany. I don't want it to be that dark. But I do want it to have a little bit of red, more of a red than a brown tint to it. Um, and we're going to see how this goes, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll do updates on it. This comes complete in the kit. I have all the hardware. I'm replacing a lot of it, but it does come complete with all the hardware. Um, most of the electronics are pre-wired um, in the kit. The only connections you have to make on this case would be from the pickups into the electronics bay and then from the electronics bay out to the ja output jack. Um, all the pots and the switches are already, both pots, the switches are already wired together. We've got the, uh, the resistor on for the tone control and they are full size 500k pots. Um, the two humbuckers come with the kit. We'll have to, I'm going to listen to them, put the guitar together and listen to them, decide whether I want they needed to be upgraded or not. But this for now, I'm going to stay with those. I did upgrade to a roller bridge. So for it, for uh, tuning purposes, so when you bend your strings, you have know, less tendency to go out of pitch. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. We're working on this. So this has got more sanding to go. And then uh, a sealer coat put on of the, the grain filler. Because mahogany is a big, big open grain. And then I have to actually finally decide on exactly what I'm going to do for the finish. Um, I may, may even do some kind of a burst type finish. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what how it goes. But we'll see you on an update here shortly on my uh, Randy Rhodes Flying V solo guitar kit build. So, to the next update, see you later. Not since Eve provoked Adam in that famous garden has anyone created such hilarious havoc. Ooh.